Well, this is a bit of an ordeal. <laughs> so I am feeling a little mischievous at the moment. Luckily for me, I am the only one on the server at the moment. I'm feeling some breaks coming on. Hmm, what a lovely day to go stroll around Fuzzy's base. I just happen to have these shulkers in my inventory. This is gonna be fun. This is such an easy, simple little prank. Oh my gosh, look at them run! Okay, one shulker down. Well, Fuzzy, I think you'll be stocked up on food for a bit, you know? Or cute pets, depending on how you see this situation. Okay, four more shulkers full of eggs. I have an audience now, it appears. But I mean, this is this is the quickest way that I could think of to get rid of all these eggs that I just you know, had laying around. At the very least, I'm giving Fuzzy a chance for a bunch of XP if he decides to slaughter all these cute little creatures. Not all the chickens are rendering in. Let's uh, go take a peek. Oh my gosh. I'd say I've got a fair few amount of chickens here for Fuzzy to come discover. Oh, I'm sure Fuzzy will love this. So um, I think my Minecraft is broken because for some reason I keep getting this screen over and over and over again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so my Minecraft is broken. It clearly has nothing to do with me. <laughs> and uh, we're gonna try to make that little red death screen a little more easy to deal with by giving our getting ourselves a trading hall set up inside our library. Because I also thought, you know, this is a library. What is it missing? It's missing librarians. A library needs librarians, right? So let's get ourselves some librarians and uh, go from there. I've decided I'm gonna try my hand at a villager breeder. Uh, I've never built one of these before. I'm following a tutorial from Zinji, Zinji, Zinji. I apologize if I said that wrong. Um, I'll link the tutorial that I have pulled up down in the description. All right, so I made the villager breeder. That was actually kind of easy. The, the hard part's gonna be actually getting the villagers over here. single will be fine. I hope. Ah! Dude number something is in here. Cool. Let's get dude number two in there. Oh, this is not gonna be that bad. Beautiful. I think I think that's it. And now I can just give you guys bread, right? You make it to babies? Yay! Why are their heads so abnormally large? Hi, little guy. Welcome to the world. Yeah! I made a farm other than a wheat farm. <laughs> now, I think my next part of my plan will be to transport them over there, but first, before I do that, I kind of want to do the whole trading thing here. Let's see, I hear a zombie. Let's try and get one into a minecart and get it up here into like a little hut or something. No, you're not supposed to go that way. Oh, for crying out loud, this is a mess. Yes, oh my gosh. We did it, okay. You know, as much as I would love to stay for the party, I don't feel like it. Thanks though for letting me use your buddy. All right, Hal, you're officially here for life. Hope you enjoy it. No! <gasps> oh, I didn't think that, dang it, what was I thinking? Okay, well, he's trapped again. Ugh. So I just discovered the cutest thing ever. Hi, little guy. 
He's looking over the edge. Like, uh, what am I doing in here? Okay, so I think I kind of figured it out, but not really. I know there's probably a simpler, more efficient way of doing this, but my brain can't think of it, <laughs> how to accomplish that. I'm gonna go ahead and make myself a fun little roller coaster for my uh, little friends here. All right, so I think the easiest approach for this is to start up here at our final destination for the villagers. Oh, that's so oh, hideous. All right, let's get the uh, transforming underway, shall we? Let's uh, see if it works. Got them both. Heck yeah. That is very loud. Okay, so once they're healed, we will uh, make them uh, useful. <laughs> this might take a minute. Uh, so I'm going to get myself some decent trades from these fellas once they're healed, and then I will catch you on the other side of that in just a moment. It has literally taken me over a day to get my villagers figured out. So, but here is kind of the quick... Oh, I just about looked at him. So I've got this little design going on here. I added the red. I'm not sure I'm sold on the red here, honestly. I don't know if it's what I want in here. Not sure yet. We've got some temporary stairs over here, and we've got ourselves all the villagers I will ever need, I hope. Let me just tell you, y'all are a pain in the butt to work with. Now I have to figure out how I want to decorate this up here. All right, so I finally have completed everything. So let's give you a, a grand tour of it all, shall we? First and foremost, the only modification I made to down here are these two pillars and they are gonna lead up to our floor. Here is the first floor. This is the entrance to the outdoors. However, I did have a zombie issue. Uh, this dude here was victim to several zombies, so I had to change that. Here is the first floor. The inspiration that I had for this was kind of the Oxford Library. So we've got a bunch of bookcases, a bunch of little random things strewn around. We've got our nice little window here. We've got a couple studying nooks, I guess you could call them, here in the corners as you can see. And then we've got one villager wandering around down here. I plan to get another one wandering around just to make it more of a almost realistic atmosphere. Have a couple librarians kind of wandering around the library, you know? And then I have some spiral staircases here on the outside. Lost Mission helped me with those. I'm not sure what they're gonna lead up to just yet, but I really wanted a spiral staircase and I just could not for the life of me figure it out. So she helped me with that. Again, don't know what I'm gonna put here as I do have a lot of space yet to fill. Okay, so then we can go up this way to our villager trading hall floor. <laughs> I have kind of a railing going on here. And I have also labeled all of my villagers here. We've got flame, looting three, silk touch, mending, all the ones that I could need. And I've upgraded them all to master librarians, which I'm pretty proud of. I've got some extra uh, books here and these, and I also have it on the other side over here as well. And I have plans to let the other members on the server know, hey, these extra ones are for sale. However, if they would like to use their own emeralds to trade um, their own books, then that is perfectly fine. They can do that for free. Um, however, the prices for them probably will not be the cheapest per book. But for me, they're pretty cheap as I converted each and every one of these from a zombie villager back into their wholesome little selves. I finally got this going, so that little red annoying screen that I get constantly <laughs> will no longer be an issue. I will uh, just be able to recover from it a lot easier. All right, so here is the reveal of the 
game that I started. So you will come in on the first floor. The first crystal was hidden behind this picture in a dark little nook here, and it was not in any of these barrels. It was in fact in a black shulker behind here. That is the first and only crystal on this floor. It's a very nice floor. There was nothing behind there, just a decoy door. On this floor, there were actually two. So you'd come through here and this is a nice little lovely storage room. And the first crystal was uh, in the boat. Um, but then if you look, you can kind of see there's a something back there. Now, I didn't intend for anybody to really see it that way, but a lot of the hitchhikers actually got into the boat and glitched their way through to the other side. However, that was not the way I intended it to happen, but you know what, it's okay, it's fine. So onto this floor, and I'll show you in just a second. We've got a couple different rooms here. We've got kind of like a kitchen place. I had a crystal hidden in the smoker here. And then we will come through here and I'll just briefly show you guys the rooms. We had a headroom here. We had a whoops, furnace room and all of these could have been hiding spots. Now, this room, clearly I have a sign that says below here. And there is a window where you can kind of see, oh, there's a little something down there. Now, I originally intended for the hitchhikers to get through that way. However, they did glitch their way through with this boat that's here. But it's okay. They got through anyways. Proud of them. They figured, they used their noggin. They thought outside of the box. So then you come up here and there is a chest and it overlooks the front of the build. And then if you notice, you will see a kind of hidden window up here that will lead us to our next floor. And then the boat was also meant as a way to get out of there. I used that trick from Gemini Tay. So, in Hermitcraft of last year. Now this floor, this was one of my favorite floors to do. This is essentially just a library maze. And honestly, I'm kind of surprised I got this as detailed as I did with how little space that I had. But there's a bunch of like, <laughs> decoy rooms and whatnot. Ugh, it was so fun to build. And then you come through here and there is a painting, which you simply walk through. Oldest trick in the book, as everyone said. So you come through here and you get stuck in a cobweb. <laughs> and this is the window that we saw previously that leads down to the front of the house. And that is where that crystal was. And we had another one here in this chest, kind of a, sm a simpler one. Also, I had that window here just in case they didn't get the hint of how to get down there. They could clearly see, oh, there is somewhere to go down. Okay, now this floor was the only floor that didn't have a crystal on it. But it comes down to this room where it's, I call this the butcher's floor. And the, again, this is the only floor in the entire house that did not have a crystal on it. It was just something to keep them guessing, you know? Anyways, next we are gonna come up here to our very next floor. This is the sixth floor and we have a couple barrels lining the walls here. Bunch of cute little different things. The next crystal was in here. And last but not least, we have one more crystal at the very top in this chest here. And then we also had another lectern that says, read me. It says, congrats on reaching the top floor. Once you have found all seven crystals, proceed to the exterior of the mansion. There you will find a secret door and your prize lies behind it. So they'll come around the house here and the secret door is right here. Button right there. You'll come down into these black concrete place. Now you'll see a lectern and my hope was that they'd be so busy going for the lectern that they would just fall down without noticing. That lectern, all it said was psych. <laughs> so that only really worked on Curtis, I believe. Anyways, but then I also had this kind of sewage way and they were like, oh great, more, but not really. I had boats here and a shulker for them to go across. However, they somehow found a way up there. I didn't really think I made it possible, but um, somehow I did. <laughs> but up here, I had just a couple prisoners, you know, lining the walls here. This is Jared. Oh, he's not happy, are you? Yeah, no. And uh, they would just kind of make their way towards the end here. And once inside, they would see, claim your prize. And each one of them had a shulker with their prize. The prize was a netherite ingot each. 
and four diamond blocks each as well. And then this is the exit. It just comes right on out to our little lake that is right in front of the house. It was nice and simple-ish. They um, all seem to enjoy it and I am super happy they all were able to participate. Thank you to all the hitchhikers for participating in this. I am so glad you guys all enjoyed it. I completely forgot the past couple of episodes. The bridge that I had outside um, has been modified and we're gonna go take a peek at that. But also I have started to kind of plan out the remainder of the area around here. So let's go show my bridge and what that looks like now. So Fuzzy Logic helped me on this bridge. He helped me figure out the arch issue and he came up with this amazing design here with kind of suspended arches. I wrapped some greenery around those as well. Thank you Fuzzy for helping me out with that. As you can see, I I have started a little green wool path. I have plans to turn this cave here into a copper smelting smeltery, if that's a word. But that is all that is, it's just kind of a layout for now. Over here, I have my villager breeder. I plan to make like a tower of some sort going up around there just to kind of hide the ugliness of it all because I didn't use the most pretty blocks for it. Anyways, this place is really taking shape and I cannot wait to do more on it. I'm gonna really try, I'm really gonna strive to really hunker down and focus on this area a lot now in the next few episodes because I am super motivated to get this done. And you can kind of see I've got two buildings kind of planned here. They're not really set in stone, they're set in wool. <laughs> Just kidding, that was really bad. We, we've got some good things going here. And I cannot wait to start on some more. Thank you guys so much for joining. There is a chicken on my roof. There's two chickens on my roof. Huh. I'm very distracted. Thank you guys so much for joining me today. I hope you liked. So if you did, go ahead and like, you know, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, pretty please. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. See ya. I hate begging for subscribers, but here I am on my knees. I'm begging, begging you. Ooh. Na, na, na. Na, na, I'm begging.